Hi, welcome to a uh, Bella Houston Virtual Assembly with myself, PC Kevin. This is the first time I've ever had to do one of these, so give it my best shot. Uh, of course, we're spending less time in the school at the moment, um, and the majority of you are spending a lot of your time at home at the moment, so I hope that's going okay for you. Um, I am out and about still in the community, so still seeing some of you when I'm out there, and I've knocked on some of your doors and things for good reasons. Um, uh, whilst I've been out and about in the community, so I'm still seeing some of you, and of course there are still kids still in the school. But whilst I'm back doing my day job at the moment, for the most part, I still feel very much part of the school, and hoping everybody staying safe out there. Uh, living in very strange times at the moment, so as I say, I hope everybody's finding a way to cope with it. For me, I've just had inconvenience and boredom to deal with, really, which I can handle, because some people are experiencing some real difficulties so I hope that you're managing to cope with it okay um, and that your family hasn't been affected with ill health and of course if everybody tries their best to stay within the regulations and the restrictions then hopefully we'll get through all of this as soon as we can. Um, because we're doing so much online now things have changed and ordinarily young people are told to spend less time on their screens, less time on their phones, less time on their iPads, but of course it's went the complete opposite way at the moment, where you're doing online learning and you're asked to spend more time on that. Um, there are positives to this because we're all getting a bit more tech savvy and that we know how to use things like Zoom, Microsoft Teams and doing online learning, um, and that's all positive. But there are negative aspects as well to us spending so much of our time online and of course some of that falls into what is my day job really and looking at crime. So I'm just going to touch on some things at the moment um, generally to try and keep you safe, uh, to remind people of what the law is so that we don't have any of our young people breaking the law that, that we just don't know um, and just some general tips about online safety which I hope is a benefit to the young people in our school and in our community. Um, what I'm hearing in terms of social media um, I spoke to a pupil the other day and they said in terms of followers on social media it can be sometimes it can be a numbers game so if you're somebody who's maybe Instagram or TikTok and you don't have an awful lot of followers it can be seen as a bit of a negative. So I asked that young person in terms of their online followers uh, and the huge number that they had, how many of these people that they'd actually met and the number was frighteningly low. So what I find is that it is a numbers game with young people and that they're, they're accepting friend requests and followers requests from people that they don't know. The numbers appear boosted and that may, may appear as some sort of a kind of popularity, a way to measure popularity. The difficulty with that is there's a lot of people online, I'm sure you've heard of catfishing before, there's a lot of people online who are pretending to be somebody else. Um, in the community I've heard of some things where that has happened and it's gone quite badly wrong. So I want to make sure that Bella Houston pupils are a wee bit more uh, on top of that. So you've got to ask yourself if somebody is sending you a follow request, it might not suffice if they're just a friend of a friend of a friend. I would rather the, the pupils in Bella Houston knew had less people, online followers, but they actually knew who they were and they'd met them. Uh, or they were absolutely certain who they were rather than they had hundreds or thousands of followers and they had no idea who they was because not a great deal of positivity comes from that. As I say, I've heard of crimes being committed through that measure and I've also heard of online bullying going through there, uh, through that way of accepting somebody that you don't know. So I don't hear an awful lot of positive coming for that. So it's something to think about when you're on your social media, which we're all on, and uh, I can understand what it's like with the numbers, but it's not always positive to have lots of people but you don't know who they are. Um, in terms of the law, I'm just going to touch on some things and I'll put it into a language that you would you would understand rather than quoting the law specifically. So as I spoke to some of the pupils about, there is a Communications Act which covers things to do online and it's a communications devices, so that can cover things like a mobile phone, a laptop I've got in front of me, a tablet, a landline telephone, or specifically any other device that is capable of making or receiving calls or sending messages. So that is covered under the Communications Act of 2003, and specifically section 127 is the most relevant thing for you. Um, what that means is that you could be in trouble with the police if you send an offensive message, an indecent message, use obscene language in a message, or send something that makes another person feel threatened, 
or if you receive a message like that and you forward it on to another person without a good reason to, for doing so. So that's part of one of the law that tells you that if you do any of this, any of these things, you're at risk and come to police attention um, and possibly charges going your way and that's the last thing I want to speak to any Bella Houston pupils about in terms of breaking the law. Uh, part two of the law, um, and, and uh, I won't say the specific law, but it means you might be in trouble with the police if you send a message or forward a message about someone that deliberately includes lies about them in order to annoy or upset them, or if you continually use a device to upset or annoy someone, like making nuisance phone calls or using fake profiles to message somebody. So, how can you make sure that you don't break the law? Uh, the basic rule of thumb is if you're not sure if you should be sending something, then don't send it. You can of course come and speak to me or any member of staff at the school if you think that you have uh, been a victim of a crime or if you've possibly committed a crime yourself. We would rather have a conversation about that than have to deal with it when somebody else uh, has reported it. In terms of pictures being sent online, that's another thing that I've seen can go badly wrong. Um, if you send a picture to someone that you only want them to see, uh, then you need to consider that they can screenshot that picture and that can be sent anywhere after that. That could be sent to that person's social media followers who can then put it onto their followers and it's out there on the internet. And you should consider that when a picture's out on the internet, it's out there forever. It's very difficult to retrieve it altogether. So your picture can be seen by thousands of people very quickly. So I would ask you, if you're going to send a picture to someone of any description, make sure that you trust them and ask yourself, would you want that to be seen? by somebody else, and if they're your friend or a partner, are they always going to be your friend or a partner? Um, and that's there. Again, so if you're not sure, then don't send. Um, what I'm also hearing, unfortunately, is some things, some bigger crimes and some more serious crimes have happened in the community where young people have been on their phone and, for example, they've added somebody on Snapchat that they're not entirely sure who they are. Um, they've got into a group chat with them and it's very badly went wrong after that and more serious crimes have been committed towards a young person um, and that's something that we want to make sure doesn't happen. So a couple of things in there to do with the law and how you can stay safe and make sure you're not a victim and also to make sure that you're not breaking the law as well because that's the last thing we want for any Bella Houston pupils. But lockdown is difficult as it is. I hope it's going okay for you and you're keeping safe and you're keeping healthy. Hopefully we'll all back, back in the school soon. Thank you. Cheers.